Hello, I'm Ellie, and uh, today I'm going to teach you how to do 3D effects on Flash without using any actual 3D. So we have a character here, and as you can see, it sort of looks like he's moving in 3D without actually using a 3D software. It's a pretty cool trick that I learned over time. We're going to see the preview here, and I'm going to teach you how to do it step by step. <laughs> so here is how we get started. I'm going to delete all of these just to show you how to do it piece by piece. We start off by creating the character and the character has every piece separated, even the pupils as you can see and the nose and the face and everything it's just chopped up into tiny little pieces and if you notice it doesn't have a stroke which is part of the trick because once you have a stroke you have limitations to the side of the face and you cannot do this trick so uh, if you if you're familiar with flash and you'll see these things are highlighted blue right here that means they are in classic tween mode so let's remove the tween and uh, redo it so select all or control a right click create classic tween now we are giving this character a tween uh, movement effect I'm sure if you're uh, at this stage of animation you're familiar with flash so let's see 20 frames in and we start the magic work <laughs> Let's start by tricking him into thinking he shifted a bit. And we close this ear in and bring this ear here and the eye. Let's make it a tad bit smaller. I'm gonna use I'm gonna go away from the microphone just a second to use the shift key. Okay, so we make everything on this side just a bit smaller to give the effect same goes for the eyebrow the nose mo moves here the lips move here and this eyeball moves here on this side is going to be the opposite so they're going to be a bit bigger let's trick them into thinking this piece of hair just moved here this way it's just a matter of illusion and the perspective and it's starting to show now this eyeball needs to be moved here just a bit and this it's part of the trick to make it smaller on this side now I'm just holding in the alt key to modify it the way I want to and keep it in place and the trick is almost complete now if you're familiar with the ease you can use it but I prefer this method is to find the last couple of frames create a keyframe and make them a bit longer that way you can start quickly and slow down quickly and slow down and we grab these here copy the frames paste them select them, reverse the frames, and we're done. Let's take a look at that. All right, and the last couple of frames here, the same effect that we did the first time, lengthen them, and you got it. I would like for you to try this out if you enjoyed it, and upload the video and link it on this YouTube video. Thank you for watching. I'm Ellie. Good night.